Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play More Persona 3 Portable Vision Quest. So, so far we've done Priestess, Empress, and Emperor... Uh, we haven't done Power yet, we did Magic, uh, Hierophant, Lovers, and Chariot and Justice. So, let's start off this episode doing... Oh, hi Margaret. I'll find my memories of... Okay. If you say so, Margaret, I'm pretty content with the party as I have now, I think. Myself, Hikari, Akihito, and Mitsuru. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much liking that. Something also I should note is that in, in between the previous episode and this episode, I did go get Thor's height, uh, height item. Uh, the, his heart item, the thing that allows Yukari to, well, it's an item that nullifies electric damage, essentially. So, Yukari will not be taking electric damage from this boss and then getting weak, and really, we already got an all-out attack? Okay. Well, I'm not gonna complain with that. Uh, so, so, I only did 1791. I actually expected quite a bit more than that, if I'm being honest. I was expecting more like 4,000. But, 1791 is 1791. It's still a fair amount of the boss's HP. So, I guess I could probably mind charge with Mitsuru and see how much her Bufudine will do. Because I'm guessing it's gonna do a, a right sight more than just physically attacking with her. See, Yukari blocks it. That way, the boss isn't getting once mores every turn. Because that would just be Le Miserable. So, you know what? Let's find out how much Garudine does as well. Somewhere around 290, maybe? Oh, really? Only 152? That is depressing. That is very depressing. Akihito, I'm probably going to have to use you to do Mataru Kaja on our party. Or no, you have you have Matarunda, not Mataru Kaja, I think. Oh, thank God they was still the attack. Am I really? I'm out of Homunculi? Really? That is bad news. That is very not good. So I guess we'll do Medea Rahan to bring them back. I mean, I realize those are the two characters who are also immune to electricity, so they probably have the best chance of surviving besides me, but I'd prefer not to risk it. Your physical attack did 110, so G Garudine does a bit better, but Garudine can't critically hit. Yeah, you do have Matarunda, but you could do Marakunda, I suppose. That's almost the same. Lower his defense instead of increase our attack. Might as well... Might as well work. So, you guys, maybe I should just physically attack and just hope for some critical hits up in here. Please. I will be careful. I will defend with Mitsuru, but everyone else I think will be okay. I mean, I know I will be fine. Hey, we critically hit him! Sweet! I do love having Orpheus Telos for the fact that I have his luck maxed. So, while using, uh, while using Deathbound... There we go, that's a bit more damage, now that I have Marakunda going on. I am... I'm liking the amount of critical hits I get with his physical attack. Namely, I think the only one he has is Deathbound, so... With de with Deathbound. Oh, Akihiko, you weren't supposed to miss. And the Mitsuru, we will defend with you, just so that you don't get completely destroyed by Giga Spark here. That does look pretty cool and good. It only did 171 damage, and I even managed to dodge it. So, take that, hermit face. You don't even know what's up. See, another critical. It's just pretty much amazing. Okay, so this is still going to do like 24, 2500, right? Yes, so we are getting, we're getting close, and I'm just going to physically attack and hope for some more criticals. Because that's the only way you're going to make this fight go quickly, really. Oh, I did not mean to defend. Oops. Oh, that was that was only mind charge though. That wasn't that wasn't charge that allows him to charge up Giga Spark. Three criticals in a row. Holy crap! However, so he's not going to do Giga Spark, but he might do like Ma Maziodine next or something, which could potentially hurt. So Yukari, let's throw. I actually want to throw this Dairahan on me. Because if he manages to hit me with, like, a, a Zeodine or something, I don't think it would kill me. But I would prefer not to take that risk. So, now with Mitsuru, I can actually do something instead of accidentally defending again. And, oh, Megadoleon! Holy crap, okay. Well, a mind charge Megadoleon... Wow! That did many damages to many of my people that I had 
with me. Okay, well that is... That was actually the last spell I was expecting him to cast. However, a lot of these bosses in Vision Quest, once you get them below a certain HP, they do have and will start using Megadoleon. Um, this is not the first one. I'm pretty sure even back to Hierophant had Megadoleon. So just keep that in mind. Okay, with you, do you not have Marakarm or Sama Marakarm? I guess you don't. So we'll just Balm of Life on Yukari here and get her back into the action. Hate her to miss out on the end of this boss fight. At least this one isn't mind charged, so we shouldn't have a problem living through this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then throw one more death bound, and maybe we can get a critical? Uh, hey! God, I love you, Orpheus Telos. You are the best. Get one more critical hit. Get one more all out attack. And there we go. Well, that actually went very well. I. Did not expect to get that many criticals, but I'm not going to complain about it, that's for sure. However, now we're going to get into the more interesting battles of this episode. We got uh, ten thunder calls there. That's how... So in this game, we don't have... We don't have fusion spells. Instead, you get them in item form. Like Cadenza and Thunder Call. They're the fusion spells that we had in Persona 3 FES. Just only the main character can use that item. So, that's that's how it works. However, we're going to do the power door next here. So, this is just like the magic door where you have specified personas, specified party members, specified everything. Also, you might notice that Shinji is on our team, which is kind of a very interesting throwback. So, before we do anything, let's change Shinjiro to direct commands. So there's some interesting things with this boss fight. First off, you're just want, going to want to attack one with the main character, and we got normal damage, which is actually always going to happen on the first turn. So make make a point of only... Actually, I think that will always happen. Make a point of only attacking one Guardian at a time. Don't use multi-target spells, uh, because you're going to see right here that because we did damage to the Might Guardian, his atmosphere is going to change, which basically changes what he is resistant to, and we can find out using main character. For instance, right here I got blocked. When your main character, your slash damage get, gets blocked, uh, he takes normal damage from Pierce and he absorbs Strike. So because he absorbs Strike, uh, Shinji can't really do anything because he only has uh, slash damage and Strike damage. So we'll just power charge with him. And then Mitsuru also only has slash damage and magic, so we'll just mind charge with her, because there will also be times that you'll be able to uh, exploit this guy's weakness, and then we have to attack with Yukari on the Might Guardian. Because if you don't actually do any damage to the guy, he won't change his atmosphere, he will attack you instead, and that can be that can be bad. So, oh, we got absorbed this time. Sweet. When you get absorbed, he is actually this is the only time he's weak to anything, and he's weak to strike damage. So Shinji can throw out a God's hand here and just do many many damages. We can throw out a God's hand, another one because he was knocked down, dizzy him a bit, and then now is the time that Mitsuru can use Ice Break on him, and Yukari can use Wind Break. And then next time, the main character has a uh, Send Off on. Actually, I, th I think it was Send Off on. I don't think it was Abaddon, but it might have been. Um, and the main character has God's Hand as well. So we'll break out that with him. And then Shinji can do God's Hand again. And as you can see, as long as we don't hit the power and the, and the, the power and strength guardians, they're not going to do anything. They're just going to wait and see what happens. They're bas basically just going to watch their god die. It was. It was a bad one. Um, they're going to watch their friend here die by our hand. Or God's hand, in this case, actually. Ooh, what a weird-looking persona. So 275 there. And then throw out another one. This probably do about the same, I'm assuming. Uh, 287, hey. So we're like halfway done with this first one. And then we can throw out a mind-charged Bufudine onto the Might Guardian here because we use Ice Break. Normally, they're completely resistant to all magic. Um, they're, they'll never be non-resistant to magic 
unless you use Ice Break and Wind Break. That's the only that's the only time you can use magic. So pretty much until you knock them down, um, and you can use Ice Break and Wind Break, it's not worth it. Because when they change their atmosphere, they're going to essentially overwrite that Ice Break and Wind Break that they had. So here we got blocked again. So that means Shinji, we can just do Power Charge with you, and then we're going to have to. Well, you know what? Let's actually see what kind of heals Mitsuru has. Mitsuru has Diarahan. I'll save that for after, in case next time. I'd rather Mind Charge first. That way, if I get absorbed next time and we can knock him down, I'd rather have the Mind Charge ready. However, next turn, if Mitsuru again can't do anything, then we can heal with her. So, Might Guardian, you can change your atmosphere again, and I'd actually really like to see him absorb my attack. Oh, normal damage, okay. So, Shinji, you really can't do anything, because I even power charged with you. You don't want to use Deathbound. While he is susceptible to slash damage, you'll attack everybody else, too. And then all three guys will start attacking you, and it is not what you want. So Mitsuru, she does slash damage, so we can attack and miss with her. And then Yukari can't really do anything, so we can actually do a Medea Rahan with her. So we got to heal anyway, and we still got the Mind Charge out on Mitsuru. That is perfect. So you guys can go and change your atmosphere again, see if I care. So main character, let's see... Absorbed, sweet. That is what I wanted to see. So Shinji, you throw out your God's Hand. Your Power Charge God's Hand, no less. Throw him on the ground. And then I think between this God's Hand, the two God's Hands next turn, and then the Mind Charged Bufudine and a standard uh, Darudine, I think we'll be able to take out this Might Guardian right now. And then we just gotta rinse and repeat for... For the next Guardian. So, Windbreak on him as well. Wait for the other guys. <laughs> I think it's so funny that Mr. Rainbow Hair, Strength Guardian, and then Power Guardian here, they just they just watch Might Guardian just pretty much get taken down to the ground by us. So... <laughs> take him... 304? Okay. And then Shinji... Yes, totally. Between this and I think we'll probably even be able to do it with with just the Mind Charge Bufudine here. I think this will just finish it off. This is Mind Charge, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. And then Yukari, you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just gonna defend with you. I don't want to mess anything up here. So let's just go with the main character. I guess we're doing Power next. He will take normal damage from... from this. When they start out, I believe they're susceptible to every type of attack. Not weak to anything, just susceptible. So you can get in some pretty good damage here at the beginning. Except Bufudine. I still don't think they're susceptible to magic. I'm pretty sure they're just susceptible to all forms of attack. So, I mean, you can get like probably five or 600 damage in in this first turn. He'll change his atmosphere, and we're just gonna rinse repeat with this guy. Oh, normal damage? Okay, so power charge with Shinji. And then we can heal with... heal with Yukari again. Sweet. That's what I was gonna do with her instead of... Instead of just defending. But I'm like, eh, we can, we can wait for it. However, mainly I'm just worried about Shinji's ability to cast a bunch of God's Hands. Because if I need him to, I need him to cast three God's Hands in the space of two turns. So, I mean, that can take a lot of HP. So, next... Ah, oh, blocked, okay. So, Shinji, we really can't do anything with you again. You're already power charged. So we'll just defend with you. Mitsuru, we can mind charge, and then... We just gotta hope, pretty much, when it, when we get blocked like this. We gotta hope that Yutari's attack does not miss. Because if, if it misses, he will get an attack in on you guys. Normally, one attack isn't enough to kill anybody. But, I mean, it can throw you for a loop. And sweet. Okay, so he's absorbing. God's hand, we can get that out here. So just one more of... One more of these... Oh, no! That is very depression. So... Now that God's Hand missed, we're in the same situation that we were with Yukari, in that we have no more characters that can actually do strike damage, because none of, none of them have any. So we're just going to have to defend, and Power Guardian is going to get an attack yet. However, we were defending, so it worked out. And now, though, we get another, another thing. So we can God's Hand with our main character here, 
because he didn't change his atmosphere. So we know what he's weak to, or that we know that he is weak to a thing. I'm not sure if this is something I want to do, but I'm gonna try it. I've, I've never actually done this before. Normally, I don't risk stuff like this, but I think because we're gonna knock him down. No, we didn't knock him down. Okay. So, we could be in a little bit of trouble here now. Um, <laughs> note to self, and note to you guys, don't accept a co-op, because you will not successfully knock the guy down. Oh man, so... Now we're gonna have to try to kill both of them at one time, and it's going to be... dangerous and possibly not possible. Uh, we will see. Because the thing is, if when we knock them both down, no matter how much HP they have, our all-out attack will instantly kill them. It just does that much damage. But, so I was like, well, maybe we can knock him down and we can make this fight shorter. Because I'll be able to just all-out attack and kill them right away. Turns out, they thought of that. You can't do it. So, hmm. I guess I will physically attack you. Okay, so that will, that will make him, that will make this guy change his atmosphere now. So drop a god's hand here, and then we can do, I think we're mind charged right now, so we can do a mind charged Bufudine, and then a Garudine, and we'll have this guy at least down to halfway. It's gonna be kind of ridiculous trying to kill both these guys at once. I did exactly what I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have experimented with something if I didn't know it was gonna work. So that was pretty much just poor choice on my part, and this guy should stand back up and change his atmosphere too. So, I think what I might do is... No, Vorpal Blade. Heavy slash damage to all foes. That way we can find out both of their weaknesses at the same time. So, Rainbow Hair blocked. Which means Yukari needs to attack Rainbow Hair. And then you can just power charge. Oh, dang it. I really wish I could have healed. But actually, you know what? With Mitsuru... Not this turn, but the turn after this. So I said Rainbow Hair needs to be attacked by Yukari, right? I'm pretty sure that's what I said. Rainbow Hair. No! No, that's not good! God's Hand on Mitsuru? Oh, thank god she survived, but why did that have to critically hit? Okay, and then you change your atmosphere. I really need... I really need to drop a heal here. So what do we got? They both block. So somehow we have to do pierce damage to both of them. I'm not sure that's possible. <laughs> um, unfortunately here. Let's see. No, don't attack. What I want to do is use a Soma. I have five of them. I might as well use them because that will get all our uh, SP and our HP back up to full. Mitsuru, you don't have any way to do pierce damage, do you? I really don't think so. That is a big fat no. Okay. So... Let's throw in a... I don't think I want to use an attack mirror. I think if I use an attack mirror, they might actually start doing bad things. But I'm not sure. I mean, this attempt is full of experiments already. We might as well just do it and see what happens. Physical attack mirror, go. And then Yukari, you don't have a way to do multiple pierce damages unless you happen to get a critical hit. Which, of course, you didn't. So, strength changes. He... Oh, he's just in a power charge. That is hot. That is awesome. So... Let's Vorpal Blade again. I really hope we get one absorbed here. Sweet. So, Rainbow is absorbing, and White Hair is blocking. So, let's throw a... God's Hand. Well, that's disappointing that it's on... Rainbow Face here. But, I mean, I guess, I guess that's just how it has to be. So, let's throw another God's Hand on him. And it's actually possible if next turn... My next strike will be the last. Um, I said white hair was blocking, right? I'm pretty sure I did. So Yukari needs to attack white hair. While this guy is dizzied and knocked down, if white hair changes his atmosphere to... Oh, no, I need to attack. I need to attack with Yukari. If he changes his atmosphere to absorb slash, then I can get an all-out attack on both of them. However, I'm not getting my hopes up for that occurring, but we'll see. So, actually, you know what, we can find out, let's see, strike, he'll either be weak, null, or absorb. So we can find out here, if we just God's hand him, I'm just gonna go for broke and hope that he's weak to this. 
Nope, he absorbs strike. So if he absorbs strike, then he's normal to pierce. So Yutari needs to attack Whitehair. And then we can keep working on Mr. Dizzy McGee right down here. You, Mitsuru, I want you to Fufudine that guy. I'm making this way too hard. This could have been way simpler, but no, it would have been way too easy at that point. And then Yukari, you need to attack Mr. Power here. And miss. Lovely. Just lovely. So Rainbow Head, change your atmosphere. White Head, what are you going to do? Akasha Arts, that could be bad. Yeah, that was disappointing. Um, that's the other disadvantage to attack mirrors, and I knew that was a possibility. I just kind of hoped it wouldn't happen. Is that he can absorb his HP back by, by doing that. So normal to Rainbow and block to white hair. So power charge here. Mitsuru, I want to, I guess, mind charge with you. And then Yukari, I need you to attack. It was attack white hair, right? Yes, because white hair, I still haven't hit him, so I've missed him. So now both their atmospheres will change. Wait. White hair, why did you attack? I hit you. You should have changed your atmosphere. What? Okay, well, we'll try myriad arrows on him then. So let's see what happens here with Pierce. So that should hit white guy, and then rainbow head blocks Pierce. If rainbow head blocked Pierce, then he's weak to strike. So rainbow head, I need to God's hand you. Sorry, I had to calculate out exactly what was going on here. Because there are three, there's three patterns of what they are weak to and what they are normal to and what they are absorb. So, or sorry, there's, I'll explain it. Pattern one is they are weak to strike damage. Also, so if he was, no, I hit him with Pierce. So he should be, Whitehead should be changing his atmosphere. Um, they are weak to strike, they absorb slash, and then they're null to Pierce. Pattern two is they're normal to slash. And then, you, Yukari, I'd actually like to heal with you. They're normal to slash, they're null to strike, and then they absorb pierce. And then there's the third pattern where they're normal to pierce, they're null to slash, and they're absorbing strike. So you changed your pattern again. So let's throw... I guess we could try Akasha Arts, because I know that will hit Mr. Downed Guy. And maybe we'll get lucky and knock down Whitehead, too. No, so Whitehead absorbs Strike. If you absorb Strike, that means he's normal to Pierce. So Yukari has to attack Whitehead again. Seriously, that Whitehead guy changed his atmosphere two times now. And both times he's changed from the same atmosphere to the same atmosphere. What? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I was really hoping that was going to kill that guy. Okay, and then Yukari, you attack Whitehead. Sweet. So both should change the atmospheres now. And hopefully we can take out Rainbow Face. And then Whitehead, why are you doing that? I don't understand why you are attacking and not changing your atmosphere. Is it because I'm attacking you both at the same time, therefore the same rules don't apply or something? I really have no idea. I just know that I really want to heal really badly. So it's Absorb on Rainbow Face. So Shinji, you can take out Rainbow Face right here, right now with your God's Hand. Okay, good, good. That's all that's left. And then, what did I say? What did this guy do? This guy took normal damage or did he block? I don't remember. We'll find out right here with Death Now Now there's only one left, we can actually use our multi-target attacks. So he blocks, he blocks Slash. So Yukari, I need you to make the hitting of this guy, and you, I guess I'll use another Soma while I'm here, because I can't, I don't have Medea Rahan, but these Somas, I'm just gonna lose them at the end of the battle anyway, they gave me five of them to use, I might as well use them. And then Yukari, I need to pierce with you, good, and then you can change your atmosphere, hopefully to something that absorbs me, nope, block again, really? Oh, you're gonna absorb that, that was dumb of me. Though it really doesn't matter at this point, because we're just waiting for him to absorb Slash. Because once he absorbs Slash, then we can all out attack on him. So we can literally just sit here and do this this whole time. Until we can knock him down with Strike, and then all out attack. God's Hand, really? That doesn't make it- I don't understand why 
Unless you Kari, maybe you Kari missed and I didn't notice. Atmosphere change, absorb please. Actually, I didn't notice what he did. Block. Okay, so you need to get hit by Slash, but I happen to literally miss with both of my people who use Slash. That is just wonderful. And he, there we go, Shinji, knock his ass on the ground, all out attack, here we go. And now you are dead. Sucks to be you, that's all I wanted to do earlier. Wow, I can't believe I actually managed to make that happen when I did that Mitsuru co-op thing. So note to you and note to me, don't try that Mitsuru co-op thing at home. So, until next time when we take on the resistance door and then, I don't know, maybe what's down here? Fortune and Strength, we'll probably do those two next time and see what kind of more time we have. Until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this and I hope you're having a fantastic day.